Hi, welcome back. So in this video, we'll be understanding the difference between cyber security and information security. Many uh, will uh, get confused with uh, cyber security and uh, information security. Few will think both are same or a few will have a different opinion on cyber security and information security. So through this uh, video, I want to uh, uh, give the uh, clarity about the cyber security and information security and also we will understand more about uh, information security basically the cyber security involves in the range of practice process and uh, technologies intended to protect the devices networks programs and data from the uh, attacks and unauthorized access basically uh, this uh, cyber security is also to uh, protect the information we all know information anything is information information may be a, a digital information or an analog information where this cyber security uh, uh, deals with the uh, security of the information uh, which is uh, stored on the uh, digital devices or the uh, digital equipments where the cyber security not only uh, speaks about the security of the information it also speaks about the security of the devices or the networks or the application which is involved in uh, storing the data or processing the data so basically uh, cyber security not only secures the data but also secures the resources and the technologies that is involved in storing the data and processing the data and speaking about the information security as i said earlier so information is basically it may be a, a digital data or digital information or a non-digital information so non-digital information like uh, they may have some confidential information printed on a paper even that is also information so here the information security deals with uh, uh, three important things that is confidentiality integrity and availability of the information so the information may be stored anywhere it may be a, a digital information or an analog information which is printed in a paper or something like that so where the information security has to ensure the security of the information which means that the information security has to ensure the confidentiality integrity and availability of the information which is maintained by the organization and also the information security basically it is a process of protecting the in, protecting the information as well as the information systems against the unauthorized access disclosure disruption destruction modification or use or uh, all for offering the uh, confidentiality integrity and availability of the information so basically all the information security uh, all the information security professionals or the, all the information security companies or uh, uh, working towards the CIEA. So as I said earlier, so C is confidentiality, I is uh, integrity and A is availability. So every security professionals will be working towards these three to uh, secure the information of an organization. So initially understanding about the confidentiality. So basically any data that is uh, stored uh, uh, in, in the organization uh, may be in a digital form or a non-digital form. So the confidentiality of the data has to be ensured. So only the authorized users should be able to get access to the data. So any unauthorized user should not get access to the data. Basically this confidentiality involves in any information that is uh, sensitive and should only be shared with the limited number of people. Uh, say example if a, a company's a CFO, so chief financial officer has prepared a, a, a statement, year-end statement of the organization so that balance sheet statement uh, should be visible only to the uh, CFO and the CEO so none other than that any other user should not view this data so ensuring that only CFO and CEO is uh, having access to the data and none other user are able to access the data so ensuring this is the confidentiality so this kind of confidentiality can be ensured by uh, configuring the uh, access control list. Uh, maybe you can configure NTFS permissions or you can use the um, um, uh, any, any other security mechanisms to ensure that the, uh, only the intended user is able to uh, view the data or only the intended user is uh, uh, having access to the data. So that is the confidentiality. 
So now uh, speaking about integrity, basically the integrity means uh, maintaining the uh, consistency, accuracy and completeness of the information. Basically, it involves in keeping the information from being altered or changed and uh, ensures that the data cannot be altered by any unauthorized people. So basically, the integrity uh, speaks about the uh, data being modified or protecting the data being modified by any other uh, any unauthorized users uh, say example uh, the previous example confidentiality we said that uh, we have the CFO has prepared the balance sheet of the organization and this balance sheet has to be produced in front of the uh, directors so in the board of directors meeting so this content has to be displayed before that uh, from the time of uh, completion of the uh, balance sheet and at, uh, until the time of the presentation so that there should be there shouldn't be any changes made by any unauthorized users so your system should ensure that the data is not being altered or modified by any alter any uh, unauthorized users maybe the uh, you, the data might be stored in a storage or the data might be uh, sent to through email to another user that is CT, CEO. So maybe the, the CFO may be uh, sending this uh, document through email to the uh, uh, CEO. So even when the data is in transit, also the data should not be altered. So uh, there should be uh, some mechanism uh, which should ensure that your data is not modified. So whatever the data that is stored in the storage and whatever the data that is sent through the mail, the same data has to be received by the uh, CEO. So that has to be ensured. So to ensure this, again, uh, we can use the when the data is in rest we can use the access control list or we can use the uh, um, uh, hashing mechanisms so where the hashing mechanism while uh, completing your work uh, once the data is complete so at that time you can create the hash of the hash hash value of the file can be generated and later by comparing the hash value you can uh, just make sure that whether the data is uh, been modified or not and uh, you can also ensure the uh, security when the data is sent through the email you can use uh, services like rms that is rights management service so using uh, this rights management service you can ensure that when the data is in rest only the authorized user is uh, getting the access only the authorized user is able to modify and even when the uh, data is sent through email where again you can also implement the rights management service so where when a when a uh, uh, email is attached with the some documents so those emails uh, cannot be forwarded to another user or it cannot be printed through the printer or it can, uh, screen uh, screenshots cannot be captured so these kind of protections can be implemented using the rights management service so through which we can ensure the integrity so basically the integrity can be ensured by configuring the access controls or by using the hashing mechanisms we can verify whether the changes is made or not by using the rights implementing the rights management service you can ensure the data is not being uh, accessed by any unauthorized users uh, when the data is in rest as well as the data is in transit so that is about the integrity and speaking about the availability so the availability deals about the uh, data uh, which is which should be available whenever the intended user needs the data so with the uh, previous example where the, the CFO prepared a document and the document should be can be shared with the CEO. So the uh, whenever the CFO tries to access the data, so here the data should be available to him. Even uh, whenever the uh, CEO is trying to access the data, at the time the data should be available to him. Uh, there might be some uh, uh, possibilities where uh, the data might not be available. Maybe a, a real attacker may try to destroy the file or he may try to damage the file or due to some other reasons like uh, uh, through hard disk crash or the server crash or the network failure 
or the data center failure or due to some nat natural calamity so through uh, the reasons may be any any reason but still the data should be available for the intended user at the uh, required time as i said earlier when uh, the ceo or the cfo is going to present this document in the uh, board of directors meeting so at the time of meeting so they should be able to access the data and the data should be available so to ensure the availability again you can uh, configure the access control so or the rights management service to ensure that any unauthorized user is not deleting or damaging the data and even there might be some reasons like uh, the hard disk failure or the server failure so to overcome the hard disk failure we may implement the raid configuration so that uh, even the uh, disk failure uh, may not lead to the data data loss and uh, even for the server failure you can configure the failover cluster so if for the for your application or your data instead of have running one server you may run multiple servers in that case if the active server goes down immediately the passive server will become active so through that you can ensure the availability in case of the server failure even in case of data center failure the data center failure may occur due to some natural calamity or some accidents like fire accident or something like that so in order to handle this kind of situations we may configure a dc dcdr that is a data center disaster recovery so through which you can have a mirror data center in some other uh, dr locations uh, say example you you may have your data center at bangalore your primary data center may, may be at bangalore and the secondary data center that is the dr site uh, may be uh, in noida or in singapore or in new zealand or in any european country so that if uh, the entire data center itself goes down so still your uh, application or data uh, can be accessed from the other uh, location that is from the dr location so this is how the availability can be ensured so basically as I said earlier, every organization or every security professionals will be working towards achieving this CIE. So that is about the information security. And that's all the uh, discussion of this particular topic. We'll discuss the remaining topics in the upcoming videos. Until then, bye-bye.